be this big. It's, we can be even closer. Yeah, we other. could. We could listen. We could get sixty six percent of this couch. Just lay that one out and I'll sit on that instead. Mm, really yeah. Don't tempt it. us with a good uh, time. I mean, that could work. We'll do it. No, we. I want to do a video of us in a trunk of a bed with a GoPro hovering above it, like, and us recording trunk us where somebody's the driving. Trunk of a bed. Yeah, we're all four like, laid down in the trunk bed. In, in the trunk bed. That makes okay. more okay. sense. Okay. Yeah, us right. four laid down, down while somebody like GoPros it. What movie would that be? I'm, I'll, I'll find. I'll find. Cars. One. Cars? No. I don't know. Something in a vehicle. There's some... probably like a horror drive-in themed movie uh, that you can do it. Uh, can you guys find a movie about yeah. smuggling people? That'll be it. Like a, like a good one, A though. good trafficking you movie. You people in the back of an open bed truck. Yeah. But we need a, a human trafficking, but make it, like, positive. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, they did it for a good reason. Right. We only traffic like, villains. It's like, I'm pretty sure there is a movie with Liam Neeson all about trafficking. There is. Yeah, the third one, right, Bryce? Yeah. Don't the third know. Taken? Nope. Taken three? <laughs> There's three of them? There's four. What are the you made four. two about? There's four of them. The, the first two? Is it the, is it the same They just keep just Taken. Same? They keep Same taking them. People <laughs> keep getting taken. Yeah. Maybe he should get better security. And then, and then Liam Neeson takes by. How else would he make taken? So it's like playing true. fetch. Yeah. It's his game. It Take is. Daughter, I'll go get her again. It's a game. <laughs> it's what Mario's been doing for years. That's so. true. Yeah, if Nintendo yeah. can do it, then Liam Neeson's dead to rights. I mean, I'm just Liam gonna... Neeson's basically Mario. Yeah. <laughs> why could, have why couldn't we have gotten Liam Neeson to be Mario? <laughs> Honestly, that yeah. should have been better. Can I get a 10? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there is some vocals in that that I've not recognized. Before. Yeah, there's. There was like an undertone of like somebody saying something. I think that, that I was the demon talking. Yeah. 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 It was like the <laughs> playing a record backwards kind the of thing. The demon gets louder and louder each time you push the button. Yeah. That's mm. so why well, we don't put tins on Yeah, anymore. luckily that doesn't happen <laughs> right. uh -huh. ever. <laughs> I'm All actually right. convinced that it's our souls trapped in that button, and that's why we're still doing the podcast after getting That's why I've been half subs. alive for the past six months. I, I really just want to make a podcast where we make separate podcasts. Our goal is to get 69 subs. Once we hit it, we can stop, and make it, and then we have to make a new one. But they have to be different things, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, one's like movie review, one's like video games, one's like we talk about couches. It's just the... <laughs> The guys and girl podcast. Review, just yeah. Go to different furniture stores. That and honestly, like, I have guarantee you. Have a little off mic and you're just whispering into uh, it while you're sitting in various couches. I'm unironically saying that that would hit 69 the fastest. Probably. No, no questions asked. 69 that. is the goal. It has, yeah. it has growth like that. Yeah, it does. If you so here's the thing: if you do shorts, uh -huh. you'll skyrocket. And I mean, yeah. No I hate that. shorts. Don't but understand like, it. Don't do shorts. Yeah. Like you should do shorts. Mm. If you do shorts, you'll your Stop. viewership is YouTube, insane. TikTok. Yeah. Eventually, it it's gonna go viral. It's just a matter of you know how many can you put out. Yeah, Something's gonna I mean, catch. YouTube wants people to watch shorts, so yeah. they they yeah. they put it front, front and center, center all yeah. the time. It's recommended video, recommended video, whole row of shorts. Yes, yeah. you're exactly right, Dylan. That's exactly but mine you know is. what's nice? There's a little. Yeah, you just yeah, but you have to click it every time. Every time. Yeah, you didn't. No so you didn't shorts. used to have to do that, I, I guess, mm. because I know at one point I clicked it and it was like, "Hey, do you just not want to see this for a while?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah, how about never?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just and then they gave you. It's in the subscription box anymore, which made me really angry when they had shorts in the subscription box. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why? I hate when like creators can like type in there and like mm -hmm. put like just type to their community. I hate that so much. Yeah, I like the bulletin board on MySpace. Like when they do mm -hmm. polls, polls are fun. I don't even care what it is. Like I want to vote and stuff. I'll vote yeah. on anything. That's fine. Typical that. woman wanting her vote to count somewhere. Am I right, guys? <laughs> God, when you guys welcome to the Epic Movie well, Podcast. All right, I'm glad you're leaving that in. <laughs> yep, there we yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> that that won't make it in. Nathan will. <laughs> yeah, it will. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's in now. That comment will age wonderfully without context. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, just yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have this like cold open with that. Uh, yeah. That's it. None of the rest of the preamble. <laughs> you know what? I said what I said. On this show, we yeah, have the host, Mason Price, Nathan Dillon. Not in that order. Mason Price, Nathan. Yeah, no, not in that order. And uh, on today's episode, what are we covering? Nathan. T2. Terminator. Two Judgment Day. Yeah. Judgment Day. T two Judgment with Schwarzenegger. Yeah. What did you call me? Hey. Yeah. Are yeah. yeah. oh, gonna leave that in there? Yeah. It's the most top billing. If you look at the posters yeah. and stuff, it just says at the top in red Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Yep. Yep. And then you couldn't even get any other casting on this one. 
Uh, yeah, I should have. Gra- I've got the VHS of it. I should have brought yeah, that sure. into a. Can you tell show. me the other guy's name, like the the actor's name? Which one? You know, the really oh. handsome, like the, not, not small face. The other right? Terminator. Oh, the other Terminator. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I had the name flipped up earlier. Michael. He uh, always like he plays the bad guy in a lot of movies. Hmm. Like right, like I, I think I remember seeing him in one of those like. Like, you know, like, kind of radio kind of movies where, like... Robert yeah. Patrick. Oh, Robert Patrick. Pat- there's, a yeah. ra- there's a racist white guy. Oh, and, and, <laughs> and it's, oh, yeah. guy. And it's yeah. him? Yeah. Every it's time? him consistently. Robert yeah, Patrick and Joe guy. Morton were the ones that stick him. out to me. Yeah. yeah. Like, anyway. he always plays a bad guy. Yeah. Always. I mean, he's got a face I for mean, a bad he, guy. I mean, he's definitely got a good bad guy face. He kind of, he kind of looks like Max Mom. A little bit. <laughs> So, anyways, you have a cigarette for a oh mother. <laughs> Terminator Two. That's a sequel. What the? What are? What are the Terminators about? What's Terminator? Well, so, who has seen this movie prior? I've seen the second one, but I've never seen the first one. So, I watched okay, both you had of them. never seen either. Not a one. Not okay, a one. so I'm glad you watched both of them. We, I, we both, I assume, have I seen know. both of them many times. I didn't see the first one until after I'd seen the second one because that that's true. just yeah. the timing of when it was being watched. I watched this as a little kid. Yep. Yep. Um, I watched it as a little kid. You, you had, uh, you had never seen it. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, you watched it. Did <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should have prefaced going into this like you probably need to understand like i didn't i said that you didn't really need to watch you need the, first to see the first one, one. You don't but, need but yeah. it probably would have been quite helpful for, for at least Sarah. a couple of scenes to understand yeah. her Connor's response character. to schwarzenegger yeah when he shows up because in the first film he's the bad guy right and in the second film you don't know whether or not he's the bad guy until the mall scene, yeah. and they do a good job of making it mysterious as he's walking around with this bouquet Flags. of roses yes. with a shotgun <laughs> a mafia inside. style about yeah, to go, yeah, yeah like, yeah. just pop off. Yeah, the, the movie holds that for, like, a good 30, 40 minutes of it. Like, but I, we, maybe we should reel it back and just go to the beginning, mm-hmm. which is uh, a little bit of, like, just storytelling... How did that hit you? Did yeah. you uh, did you really care? It's did whatever. it bother you? We we start with a <laughs> now nuke. it tends to bother well, you. Yeah. <laughs> oddly, oddly, it starts in you know in the first one was the same way where a nuke goes off and like the year basically starts both movies in twenty twenty nine, which is yeah. pretty yeah. soon. Yeah, now. TikTok yeah. baby, yeah. let's hit the but, very much around but here's the corner. Here's the thing though: the apocalypse in this timeline started in nineteen ninety seven. Yes. Yeah. So it being twenty twenty nine, um, we kind of missed that happening yeah, we, in the same way we missed the setup for our apocalypse yeah, yeah that's true we keep t- tiptoeing around it damn it but yeah so it yeah. opens in 2029 uh-huh. just kind of giving you an overview of skynet has taken over it's an ai that controls all these robots and is trying to exterminate the human race it tricks russia into attacking the world by launching nukes from america so basically it triggers like the total annihilation mm-hmm. Oh, kills society. three billion people. Um, Would you see in graphic detail later? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. the second so time it shows the, is the beginning. Forward. The beginning, I I find to be very iconic because yeah. you've got the whole battling against the robots and like the big mechs, yeah, the b- mech tanks like rolling over skulls. the ruins of a city that are mostly like skulls yes. just yeah. being crushed under these tank treads, mm-hmm. and you've got you know the very iconic like. Step of the robotic foot the, crushing yeah, the claw skull thing, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just the, the turning pan of like the full Terminator without any skin and suit then on that, it. Duh, 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 duh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, like, uh, the soundtrack does so much on this. Yeah, the soundtrack pumps. And it's not even, oh, not even so much the soundtrack, the score, I guess is what I'm saying here, but because mm-hmm. like, even with uh, Schwarzenegger later on, whenever he just has his, it's just that heavy hammer on metal, dong, like, anytime it's building up on him, it's just... Yeah, so, apparently, the metallic sound in the theme for Terminator Mm -hmm. is, uh, like, the Foley artist's uh, cast iron skillet. (laughs) Love (laughs) it. I believe it, though. You gotta improvise. But, yeah, it, it opens with that, and then it pretty quickly cuts to, like, current day and um schwarzenegger's been sent back again yep we don't know why yet we start with the teleporting naked yeah the the classic teleporting naked Mm -hmm. which our second character whenever he teleports in naked 
I, I'm sure you notice mm-hmm. there is noticeable dong. dong. There is. Um, really? Hell yeah, there is. Oh, I yeah. didn't see it. Yeah, 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 it was there. He's a shower, baby. <laughs> Good um, you gotta pick the camera angles just right. Yeah, so show. Arnold teleported in. He's nude. He walks into a biker bar. Classic. Finds the, the right person to fit his size and uh, decides to take his clothes. This is... Hijinks pillages. Ensues. Yes. I mean, really, hijinks and Sue is kind of where the movie goes from there. Uh, we start to get into the Connors family, and, and they're saving the world, but really this is just Terminator on Terminator action for the bulk of it. Yeah. This, this is a very action-oriented film. Yes, sure. it is. Yeah. It uh, is very action-oriented. Price, do you want to talk about... I, I get a feeling you want to talk about the action. You want to talk about the action? It goes on way too long. Mm-hmm. This movie this is long. like two hours, 40 minutes. It feels like Oh, two you guys watched the extended cut? It feels like this is two <laughs> hours of action just shooting that terminator a million freaking times you should have seen the first one. And, four, yeah, yeah. and 40 <laughs> minutes of it devoted to like characters like advancing the plot and like getting that along mm-hmm. this that that dang i know we're gonna talk about it forever but that semi-truck scene goes on so <laughs> we're gonna have to be more specific so there's the, another two the two. semi-truck or the wrecker i don't yeah. i don't care the one of the terminators is driving a truck the one in forever. the la river i don't care yeah both what do you mean are, i don't yeah. care there's, there's, there's two, two. There's two. There's there's two. Two. different clarity both the one where he's driving the liquid nitrogen, like liquid, nitrogen liquid nitrogen it's it besi- it's besides the point if there's action on screen if characters are not talking there is action going on, and there are bullets flying, and it just lasts so long. And I checked out big time on those. I'm the complete opposite on this. Every action <laughs> scene is fire. Yeah. The whole time I was watching, I was just like, "This is a fucking great movie." <laughs> yeah. I, I, every scene, like, so, I knew exactly what was coming too, because I have seen this movie so many times when I was little. But it just gets so. It just keeps going. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's like, so, yeah, so it keeps good this, things going good. But it doesn't it. present anything different. It, it, it tries to. Yeah, well, he's driving the truck, and, and then, then the, the, the whole the ceiling gets ripped off. We and mentioned it in the... And then he keeps and driving then. the truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's trying to get they're it. They're going to fight each other. <laughs> so we mentioned off camera, this is a James Cameron film. Yes. Yeah. And James Cameron, it, he's not necessarily a... Uh, oh, gosh. Subtle guy? Mike... Uh, Mike Wazowski? Michael Bay? Michael no, Bay. Bay. Yeah, no, it's well, not full explosion, but this but is as close as he gets. He, yeah, I was going to say, but he, he he scratches his, you know, his characteristics a little bit on this movie. Mm-hmm. But when I think of Terminator 2, and tell me if I'm wrong, whenever you guys used to walk into an arcade, uh-huh. did you not that see... That game was there all yeah. the time! Massive all Terminator 2 with all the red eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger there. like this, with like every the biggest arcade. rifle. Yeah. Yes. Every arcade. 100%. So this movie makes so much sense to be explodey, <laughs> actiony, and just... Mason doesn't know this game isn't a video game movie. No, like, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one's like, first, the, the chicken or the egg. Yeah. But I do think that like this movie does try to tell a story in all of its action. The problem is, I think you do kind of need the first one a little bit because like it was, it used to all be about Sarah Connor, but mm. then yeah, they do mention in the first movie that uh, Jack J- John. John. John, Connor yeah, John Connor is kind of like the the prodigy for whatever yeah. fucking reason. I don't really know. He, but he's the one that leads he, the he, resistance in the future. He becomes That's the general it. hero, right? She's just kind of like killer mom. Yeah. The thing that I got sick of in this movie was all the nice work, soldier. Uh, blah, 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 d- d- don't back down now, soldier. Yeah. Talk between the mom and John because that bullshit got so old. And like the armory, like in the in the Mexican village, <laughs> yeah. like like just random like army type things but it is a revolt they, did, they, gave, they gave context for that though no, they, they, did. they did say that for a while she's dating all these men who are doing like she's just viva la re- re- revolutioning the entire <laughs> yeah that's time. true yeah she's yeah. she's she's made her connections she, and her networking. she's trying to do everything she can to in be, her mind to prepare, prepare john to lead a revolution like scold him for coming to save robots. her yeah right she's like that was a poor tactical move boy yeah soldier like, no one fucking comes against me soldier okay robot mom i don't know where the cat the weapon caches are without you you know we're like you obviously are. need to be in on this story and arnold schwarzenegger were... needs those guns so yeah. he can get the the gun and like fire it with one arm and then turn and then it turn it and it. flip it it's fucking sick he did bro. That. that was cool <laughs> right. a lever so action shot a lever a action shot yeah. yeah. and, uh, well and apparently he like he had a hard time with that he like cut his fingers yeah. up really bad yeah. doing it and he like hit um he hit john connor 
multiple kid, times yeah. during takes the and kid. almost knocked him out at one point. Yeah. I saw a lot of them got very close to his face whenever he, they were in like that little bunker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got very close. Cause That's the so one tight. that didn't hit him. Yeah. There like, was 10 takes. Everything other one. Yeah, yeah. All the other From did. what trivia I've read, it seems like the, the whole L.A. River chase stuff was very, very complex and demanding yeah. on Arnold. Because he's mm. driving a motorcycle. Yeah. He's got to look cool and look robotic. Yeah. And look He's got to like be shooting and cycling the gun like that. Mm -hmm. At one point, he's going to, you know, have, like, a kid that true. in, in his lap. That is true. That's a lot going on for It a is a lot. Friend. I never thought about that. Yeah. Also, apparently the thing where he was shooting the gates, that really was happening, too. Hmm. So that wasn't, like, a faked thing I either. That, I believe yeah. that. Because it said, like, they were saying in the one of the trivia pieces was, like, that was also just really hard for him to get right as well. <laughs> How dare Arnold have to shoot that on the on the, on the fly. Like, <laughs> it right. almost sounds like they just made him actually the do Terminator. the entirety yeah. of that scene. Yeah. I mean, you've got, I mean, all right, context. You're in. You're filming in the 80s. The movie doesn't come out until 91, but you're filming in the 80s. you got Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, so this this was, this was greenlit thing. and turned around in eight months. I yeah. Think is, oh, okay, so, so it was early. So this 90s. was yeah. early nineties. Okay. Okay. So now That's James cool. Cameron's like, I'm gonna take ten years to make one movie. Yeah. I'm not doing that again. I'm the not Titanic was after this one. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, and he was just like, cool. I made my money to go do the thing I wanted to do. But like, yeah, yeah shit blow the up. amount of stuff I that's think very... he wanted to do Terminator. He did, you know. I think there's, I mean, again, this is why he keeps being loosely involved in when we still keep seeing Terminators even after him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's still executive producer in a lot of those ones, but not the point. The point, I think that something that's really, really interesting about this is when you're watching, you can see how much of it is practical for starters. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's just mm -hmm. That's sick. impressive. Yeah, yeah, there's so much of it where I'm like, yeah, this gets away from being practical because it's a, Arnold Schwarzenegger during peak Arnold's, like, like action run, but B, James Cameron was also still a pretty known director at that point still. Yeah, you know, speaking of a practical thing, the uh, helicopter uh -huh. going under the bridge, yeah. that actually, that wasn't faked. <laughs> no, I remember that was a, that was one that gets pointed that out. Looked that looked like that, it was that a just pointed out Crazy. because James Cameron filmed it himself because yes. his camera crew refused to do it because they so, thought that it was too dangerous. Yeah, he's like, so he just was like, fuck it, I'm doing it. James That's Cameron's crazy. a crazy motherfucker. I mean, this is also the guy who went down to go crash yeah. the parts of the Titanic. He yeah. was one of the ones yeah. on the quest. I'm, I'm still convinced he made the movie just to do that. And I think he pretty much says as much anymore. He's like, I just wanted to do that. I'll, I'll create an excuse. But yeah. getting back to the plot of this yes. and where the, the handsome Terminator, not to say that Arnold isn't. Well, I just I was don't know say, Arnold's other, pretty good looking in this I don't movie. know if the other guy yeah. even has a name. In this? Raw, no, he's T one thousand. Yeah, so yeah, he is a, an upgraded. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. is. T one thousand is just absolutely absorbing. Yeah, everything. And I don't know figuratively what the CPU or literally at both. Yeah. I don't know if the CPU is just way different. Like, I don't. Did they cover the fact that like he doesn't have the CPU in his head and like he has it somewhere in his dick or something? No, like, oh, he just so. Says, I mean, it, the the modern day equivalent explanation to that would be like. A bunch of like it would be like a gray matter like swarm bot. Like, it's all it's like all little actually, micro yeah, things. yeah like basically it's bots, a bunch right. of tiny robots. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's actually a thing that people are trying to develop, and yeah. it's like a very popular sci-fi gotcha motif. Too. Right. Because another issue that I'm sure that Price had with it, because I kind of did Just too. Like, well, this thing this was thing? yeah, it was literally unstoppable. I know that I'm doomed if this thing is on well, this earth. It, uh -huh. And that's kind of the thing about a gray goo type of robotics yeah. is that it is pretty much undefeatable. It consumes planets. It's like the right. end of everything. Sort yeah. of. It, you it need most... to play it as Ti. Yeah. You know, yeah. They'll, they'll never lose. Not the dinosaurs. <laughs> no. Dinosaurs <laughs> might be a close second. Could you but not? I think could you not like just freeze like, and metal in like him? like freeze him or like bury him? Well, like in we, a, like concrete or something. Um, uh, I don't think concrete I, would stop him. I, I, I think, think he would shift his mind like, around. Clearly, they showed that Jeff. freezing him worked He's, and also melting him down worked. Yeah, you have are, to break it down to a chemical temperature. Yeah, they froze him with the liquid nitrogen. Yeah, and then, which so. you know, bad luck on his part. <laughs> I know he, he literally he hijacks a liquid, <laughs> liquid nitrogen, nitrogen truck. and yeah. doesn't seem to realize. Oh yeah, I'm vulnerable to that. I mean, like, did nothing about his program <laughs> told him. Well, he was just told, like, you're invulnerable. You yeah. can do anything. The yeah. truck also He's just like, happened to come to be, run. too. Like, right. he was standing on the, the interstate, and then the truck just pulls up, kind yeah. of. Like, yeah. yeah, like, I, I get that. He's yeah. taking whatever's available, but yeah, yeah unfortunate. Like yeah. Um, it, it does leave doors open for uh, future movies to have them, like, the T-1000s be the main prototype, but everybody's in Antarctica or something, though, you know? Ooh, like, that's true. You gotta, you gotta learn. So, so there is a uh, Terminator Survivors game 
coming out. Uh -huh. That uh, the little trailer I watched of it today, it looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it seems like a very stupid idea and not the kind of world that you should set that sort of game in, in my opinion. Uh, um, I kind of just want to keep playing Helldivers to be honest. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to, if you want a Terminator's vibe, yeah. Go, go to uh, what? What is it? Uh, something Creek. Oh God! What was that? Ender's Creek. Mel Melvalon Mel Mel Creek. Creek or something yeah. like that. I don't know if no if they've idea. ever taken that planet. No. Honestly, that that's been for oh, the whole time I was Hell playing it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's the same lore. It's all the same stuff. But, Basically. Um. Yeah. You want to go or you want me to go? I mean, I'll I'll, I'll go. Okay. So I mean, yeah. if we're if we're kind of getting <laughs> he's back, pretty hot. Yeah, he's hot. <laughs> if we're getting back into the story, <laughs> you know, we've got John. Kid meeting John. up with Arnold mm -hmm. and finding out that Arnold's been sent back to protect him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. John was not even born in the first one, right? No, no. Yeah, no. he wasn't Kyle even born and yet. So like he, he has together. never actually seen a Terminator. So he didn't really. He thought his mom was kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, he lady. didn't really believe that the things she was saying were actual fact. No one did. Yeah. Because she's in a mental institution and everyone yeah. thinks that her, she's Her time in, in the uh, in the asylum is probably much more is what it is at that point. I will say, she's not doing favors to, no, to people. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> she, she is, uh, yeah, she's definitely, like, pretty genuinely crazy. Yeah. Like, attacking yeah, her. Yeah, she's still trouble. Openly attacking, too. Like, yeah. like you're not going to get out this way. You know, like, yeah, try like, to play it smart. She and tried, be able to, get out she tried she to after that. After yeah, going ballistic for the first yeah. time, yeah. times, like, yeah, she did like, this She tried in a way where it's just like, literally anybody would see through this. Like, yeah. Yeah. obviously, you're just trying to play nice. I've so been well just... behaved for six months, doctor. <laughs> 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 I can get out now, right? <laughs> You can see the daggers in her eyes, like yeah. yeah. And then again, she kind of just goes full terrorist later with uh, what's his face. But we'll get there, anyways. Yeah. Um, but I know they've been feeding her just protein and grilled chicken. Bro, yeah, she's just, she's just got the never yeah. back down they, diet. They have, uh, they have done nothing <laughs> to like prevent her they, from just being in peak fitness. They've only let her get stronger, which is a bad idea on their part. I yeah. feel like. she's right. Really ridiculously shredded yeah oh my god like there is she's point zero one in this yeah, one Sarah, Sarah Connor is a pretty badass character through this story yeah crazy but crazy as all yeah, like, yeah pretty impressive too um something that probably won't get talked about enough but we haven't touched on yet that I want to is performances because there's there's at least three or four really good performances I, I totally agree I thought the performances this across the board were really good I think Sarah especially the kid yeah I was super impressed with him the kid's really endearing uh, Arnold after being an absolute shit for the first like maybe nine <laughs> yeah. minutes uh -huh. he was super cool. he's the worst but then yeah. you do like you're like oh this is endearing and you do well, see why T2 probably is more popular because I remember thinking as a kid I'm like Oh, you, you just project yourself to the kid in the movie, and you're like, oh, yeah. I want a fucking Terminator. Well, like, yeah, yeah, that you can, like, fist bump and high five, yeah. and, you know. I want a this, dad. This movie was rated <laughs> R, though, right? I'm yeah, this was R. Rated R. Yeah, that didn't yeah. stop my family from letting me watch it. So. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, that, it, it's always funny. We had it on VHS. It's just like, well, I, I literally watched everything that was coming out rated R. <laughs> yeah, yeah but also, that. let's be fair, I don't know about you guys, I had Dish Network growing up, and this movie was on. Oh, all the no, time. So no, it didn't matter no. if it was like, rated R. We rented, we rented okay. that like yeah. multiple nights a week. You, you could have an NC-17 movie and it would still be, if it was on dish, like you'd still be okay. Like, no, we, gonna... we had Bunny Ears, Channel 21, and Snow <laughs> Channels, but that's not here nor there. Snow Channels. Snow yeah. Channels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like voice. Yeah, but uh, Ar honestly, Arnold, especially off the cuff, I think the bar scene on like is solid. Like it is yeah. so 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 good. Yeah, it's it's good. The the whole thing with the guy coming out to try and stop him and him just like taking his sunglasses. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I will say that the da na 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 to the bone is the only time I remember thinking like this is the only time in cinema history where I'm like this hits for me. Oh, it did. It's so good. Yeah. That entire sequence is like. I don't think you can really compare it to like the opening of um, 
time. Uh, uh, Inglorious Bastards. Oh, like, oh yeah. That's, oh, that's a movie. That's an intro. That's but I think it is that level of no. like, iconically good I'll agree cinema. With that. Yeah. I do not agree with I'll that. Agree. They are two no, totally You don't different. have to, it's but, but, but like, it's like, yeah. no, yeah, listen, different things, but it's an iconic I've piece never of heard of this intro prior. Oh, my God. No, this Ever. intro, be, yeah, but you're a scrub. <laughs> so you you don't you didn't watch this movie. What does that mean? You, you didn't watch this movie as a kid. Movie. So how, how, how so would you? Somebody who hasn't seen it, I should have seen it in popular culture sometime. Now you can literally popular. put "Give me your clothes" on this, on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Like like it has to be fairly iconic. All right. So case in point, Price, you also weren't watching watching movies anytime around this time in cinema history. And you would this, have watched this as a kid. Yeah. I was watching movies at this time. You, no. Yeah, or animated. What were you watching? Heck no. Spongebob, then what movie? Oh, Spongebob was big. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so case in point. You were, not only were you not in the bubble, you were in an entirely different bubble that was not even but that's, close on this. that's not the point. Your point would say, you're saying that this intro is so iconic yeah. that it's comparable to Inglorious well, that I should have seen it as somebody who's not ingratiated with here, this movie. Here, Here's the thing. I think most people that haven't seen Inglorious Bastards probably don't know anything. Have never yeah, seen that seen intro. intro. Have never heard of like, that, that being like if, the if staple that's intro. Your, if that's what you're saying, Amongst then people that who would pay... be the same for yeah. that as well. Yes. yes. Um, I disagree. Amongst movie you're crazy. lovers. And I'm not saying like I, hardcore I think cinematics. whenever, if they're coming back, if those two come back, we ask them that, no. you, you'll, you'll find it's probably more likely. They won't they know that go, Shoshana... Had a, a you know an underground under the base. Oh no, she was up top. Yeah, top she was up top. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She won't. Know they that won't the know that. It they won't right. know that. They won't even know of that scene. But anyways, anyway. moving on. Yeah. How charming was T one thousand? Very. Yeah. So you want to talk about well, a good and, and casting? Uh-huh. And it's to me that's so much playing into the whole thing of them trying to make you at the beginning of the movie think. He's, He's the, the good, good guy. Yeah. And the other one's the bad one. Right. Because you don't really know much about. The either of them at this point other yeah. than you know that Arnold is the bad guy from the first from the movie first one. Yeah. quick note I do also like the, the nice touch that whenever uh, T-1000 teleports in that it's cutting out a part of the, the semi cool. because the teleporting it was yeah. a spatial matter yeah. yeah comes in on that um, also the other part that's really really worth interesting that I didn't notice until I eventually saw like a trivia fact about it and then looked at the visual acting of it that when they're Either of them, uh, the Terminators are turning their head, and Arnold started doing this in Terminator One. The way that they do it is like I was always thinking. I was like, "That's really interesting." They move the eyes first, and then their head goes. So it'll because Arnold originally was like, "Oh, you know, it would be more like that. That would be a more machine way of like be focused and then move. It would be scanning, and then the head would move with it. And it was something that as I would watch the movie, I'm like." God, that really does just add so much extra like flavor to like the the human acting into it on that one. And T-1000 does the same thing in this one, and it's both executed just great. It's sick. It's just neat. What about the scientist? Anybody? Yeah, scientist is fucking carries by the he end. Was, he was all right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he did well. I mean, yeah. I, I, he, I thought he was too malleable, I guess, to, uh-huh. like, like, what too the willing was to, uh, to destroy yeah, his whole dream. they came in, like, Sarah Connor came in firing in his house. Yeah. Could have killed anybody there. So, Could have killed his fair, son. though, if you're presented with, this is... The robot death machine that you are going to create, and, and they you have literally already show literally you. seen this robotic hand, yeah. and you have no idea where your company. You got didn't it create from. that. Yeah. And yeah. my the point is, at the same the time, she fired into their home with their son about to be killed. Him, and him still at the end, like I will do anything to keep this alive, and then he gets shot like. 40 times and yeah, the yeah that was probably like, the worst death that's scene then I've the ever plot's seen. just like we need to keep him alive a little bit longer so he can blow so the fuse like, yeah. so well, well his performance on the, on the fuse blowing is <laughs> I did like it. his acting there was very it's good sick. I mean it's I so thought good. that was pretty I thought it was like, great. I thought it was pretty Jesus good. Christ <laughs> sick you know alright well, everything the price rebuttal rebuttal I can't say anything it's like <laughs> but really though but hang on here we go let's just uh, let's just go ahead and get that where it needs to be. Right, we, no. we, we can talk about the minigun. Well, yeah, the mini we still got another action to get into. Was, <laughs> Rebuttal to I've the, never seen dick riding like this. Rebuttal to the scientists <laughs> going along with their things. A, valid proof. They've literally shown no, that. I'm, but B... I'm, I'm saying, like, I get why he went along. That scene with him revealing his arm was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Like, it, like, it yeah. showed... Like, what the effects of his thing, like, what he was doing could do. But, I get that. But also... Okay. If he doesn't, 
they will just kill him. Probably. No, because they need access to get in there. I mean, listen, thing. when does that ever stop Sarah Connor from trying to do and a thing? How well, would that would have do stopped Arnold? How would that have start, stopped Arnold? Arnold? Because every time they Arnold ran into a roadblock, <laughs> yeah. Arnold just bulldozed That's through. my thing. His yeah. whole, like, hacking with a credit card bullshit, I was like, this doesn't even, like, I, this <laughs> yeah, is just yeah. foreshadowing to, to no reason. That. Like, the only reason yeah. you're doing that is maybe because Arnold's busy doing something. I'm, a, yeah. I'm 100% <laughs> certain that if they did just decide to kill him, which at that point they probably hold him hostage, but not the point. They they would rather have him be a willing thing because that's a better angle for him, and if he sees the redemption. They want him to be a more a more more of a character than a, than a plot more device. More character. Yeah, and I think that's like I don't know why we needed him. I mean, he wasn't around long. You would, but here's the thing: if it was just him being either a hostage or something in that more effect, the movie's worse. What and what do you think it would be so. like if they just went straight to Cyberdyne and just started? Blast. Blast. Do you think that would yeah. have been a better? I think they, angle? they probably could have gotten in there just as easy, but yeah. It's I mean, it was weird. literally just it was Bill just and to add a little bit of like down. thriller <laughs> aspect because like you were supposed to be on the edge of your seat while he yeah. was like, open up the the door. Come on, security guard. Blah blah blah. Yeah. You know we can't allow. And then like, oh, me and my friends are just coming in at midnight. Yeah. Don't like yeah. Us. No. No big yeah. deal. Are you just, bleeding? Just a, just a late night <laughs> tour of the lab. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been shot? <laughs> no. No. I'm also not. Yeah, to be fair, he was. I get that he's trying to be nonchalant, but the, but he's still the scene is still shot like he feels like he's a but hostage. He's probably still <laughs> sweating. Like I could yeah. see his face I mean, was still sweating. They still could have. I think the important thing of them getting in there, like fine for a little bit, was yeah. just so they could look around like undisturbed sure. for a little bit, yeah. which I did appreciate. But I think they could have gotten that. They could have him as a in hostage. There. They could have done anything. They could have. He didn't bother me. I, I just didn't think he was a character. He was. Whatever. But I think he's a... Yeah. I don't know. I've just I'm seen you. that trope so many times in action films that it's just like, we're just going to take oh, the, the sure. wimpiest bad guy. And I think that for that, it's just like a little bit more... You know what? We're going to make these humans feel human. Because, and again, in a Terminator film, the, the humans are also robots. So we want to make the humans feel as human as possible. I also really liked when uh, they were setting up his character with the mom coming in there and being like, oh, honey, you are yeah. just doing your work all the time. What is it? Uh -huh. Explain to me like you haven't explained this a million times. Uh -huh. Like, please do give that. A, give us some reason. Maybe if there's I an audience watching I, that you would understand. You know. I love hearing about the neuron matrix. <laughs> Tell me more about it. Yeah, they, Even though you have two small boys, look around that corner. Aren't yeah. they so cute? Yeah. Can <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about that. He's such a family guy. You can almost see the lasers starting on the forehead <laughs> when they start having that moment. I wanted to shoot that family. That's yeah, good. there's 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 definitely some cheese into that, but that's fine. I I will say though, the bigger picture thing for me is when we start to see uh, the not so much the first fight scene with well, them in the hallway and stuff like that is great. But when we start to see later on fight scenes, Arnold's like upgrading the artillery and things like that. And I'm yeah. leaping ahead a little bit. This is just to kind of cover the fight scene, like cinematography, because a lot of it, to a little bit of Price's credit, the the gun foo of this, if you will, is shoot bang boom. You know, it like, is wild that the last three movies and shows that we've reviewed on here, the bullets have done next to <laughs> nothing. nothing. Yeah, they are it's against a, anybody. So this Starship Troopers, what's the other one? Your you're fucking show. Sh Oh yeah, the Blade uh, Runner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't do a thing to anybody. <laughs> Bullets are. No, you're definitely right. <laughs> Bullets are meaningless. Though. Like it is yeah. wild that we've had a series like this where it's just like, what is ammunition? Yeah. <laughs> you might as like at least Starship Troopers. They had that like weird missile nuke thing. Yeah, they that, like the, obliterated anything. Uh, David Crockett style style rocket That's been the most effective thing in all of these movies. <laughs> I so, was well, credit to Nathan. Other than a pull well, of magma. and the grenade yeah. going inside the the big bug. The big bug. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Apparently, yeah. grenades are where it's at because also Arnold has a grenade launcher well, and, and it, it was blowing it, holes it, it perfectly human sized to walk through by well and if you remember at the end our bad guy gets all kinds oh, of so can openered yeah. you know like uh -huh. also speaking of the guns so John the whole time through. is like you cannot <laughs> kill people like do not kill people and Arnold's like, all right, whatever. And then he's going to, I'm going I'm, I'm to stall the police. And John's like, no, you can't kill him. You he's promise. Like, yeah, no, he's I'm like, good. promise. And then he gets We're the media. No, I, 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 knew, I knew you were going to say something. Zero you're casualties. Right. Zero yeah. casualties. Somehow, zero casualties. But, he's just scaring him. Yeah. I'm, let me just, let me spook him a little bit. I mean, bit. he definitely <laughs> scared the helicopter guy because he's like, yeah, oh, yeah. shit, that's a minigun. <laughs> yeah. to, be, to be fair, if you're watching that movie, though, there's absolutely a body in one of the cars that gets shot, obliterated oh, by the minigun. Yeah. That, that, that part I remember thinking, 
this is so bullshit. Like, no, <laughs> somebody definitely dies here. Well, this is the same shit as, like, any Marvel movie that you watch, where there's just oh, shit being oh, like, about things and people you're, no one yeah. dies, yeah. though. You know, it's quote, crazy. Like, that, but I, it's, it's weird that, like, how now Marvel's kind of embracing that. Yeah, with and, Daredevil. And is, like, they talking... They want the trauma. And, they want and it to be And now they're talking about the trauma, talking about the bodies that have wasn't that the thing with the, what was it, the green, the the hawk? thing in a uh, spider-man like he was like his whole thing was oh, salvaging Michael like Keaton. alien stuff after oh the yeah Avengers to like movie. help yeah. people yeah, yeah, and yeah. then he uses it to yeah, his whole so purpose was they... because he was working the wrecking crews yeah. of the people who did that dang so Nate, that was a surprisingly I know, I popular pop for movie sure. i wouldn't see that from from Nate, you know <laughs> yeah. I, I watched all the way up until end game also i haven't touched this and his name would be the vulture to be clear that's was right michael keaton it's michael keaton yeah it's keaton but I don't remember any arc from him. I just remember him being the girl's dad. No, he's the main villain. Oh my god! Right. Go yeah, back and watch that movie. He's, he's really villain. good. That one's he's great. Right Anyways, but uh, no. So he definitely kills people with the minigun. You cannot convince me otherwise. <laughs> but uh, the second scene where like he goes down the hallway and he's like the bullets are actually like really starting to like mess up his face and stuff yeah. like that. But which is just a skin suit. The exoskeleton's doing just fine. I like how he can fucking snipe anybody, and he waits until I mean, the end of the hallway. I know. Like, he, he wants to assert dominance is what oh, it is. Yeah. It's, it's a psychological well, maybe it, Maybe it's a little first. bit of him just being like, maybe they'll just run. Right. Maybe if I just keep That's walking, they them, do they'll start freak running out and run. run. Yeah, because at that maybe point... Maybe I want to shoot him all in the leg. It is maybe my favorite like little action segment where he just goes and caps every one of them. Like, there's like eight in a row. Shot. I mean, yeah, it, dude, it, it is like... pretty funny. <laughs> like, I'm just like, this man really just said, to the kneecap it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Like... Hope like he said, I can't kill. Uh huh. Because yeah. I ain't gonna kill nobody. Yeah. My my follow up headcanon behind that is like, if they don't get medical treatment, they will bleed out. Like, and I'm just, I'm, yeah. is he back there later? He's like, yeah. fuck, I gotta suck the bullet out. <laughs> like, is he actually like a med bot as well to, to within his prerogative? Well, yeah, he is because he he's talks about how he knows like all human anatomy whenever he's fixing. Sarah. Sarah's, Sarah's like, it makes you more efficient killer, right? And he's like. Affirmative, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> because they both stitch each other up. Yeah, yeah. So how you, cute was that, Bryce? Yeah, it was cute. It's, it's uh, see, that's like that part I actually cute? like kind of liked when they took a second and like talked about and things breathed. Yeah. and let the movie breathe a little bit. When but... they're letting the characters interact with one another, I feel like is like definitely I find this some of the strongest part. The kid and Arnold's relationship. The kid and Arnold are the oh, highest. Oh, like that's with the monologue narration yeah. from Sarah Connor. Oh my God! When you, when you it was in that movie. moment that I realized that John needed a fatherly figure in his <laughs> life, and and this T two was the only example that, <laughs> for him to have. And I was like, Oh my! This could have been without. You're exactly yeah, because right. she was Mason. staring at them, and they were like high fiving each other. Yeah, she, she could have talked with somebody and not made it. A, it was a, it was a strange she choice didn't have to, to suddenly speak. She could have just like looked and be <laughs> like, like implied. Yeah. Exactly, but there's something very like it was an interesting choice to have her narrate like the scene. So the, weird. The movie doesn't like a single what open with it. her narrate. It does. Oh, that's true. It does. Open and at the end, it's the same. It's narration at the beginning. That scene, to yeah. my knowledge, that's it within the movie. And there's then one. Yeah, I do want to mention about the end too, um, but we can get to that. Yeah, uh, the there's also there. the scene where she visualizes everything blowing up, and yeah. she's doing a monologue. That time, that. and that time, it's real. That, that's a very, gets, like, that's yeah. a very dramatic scene to like that, that's one that sticks in yeah. your head like mm -hmm. i mean i watched this as a little kid i, I see mean, this came out in 91 yeah. i was two when it came out yeah i don't remember how old i was when i first watched probably it, but two. it it probably sticks two. in my mind many of the scenes mm -hmm. the skull being crushed by the terminator yeah. like all that stuff like i remember it like being unnerving as a little kid and this scene in particular it's like that like huge i mean it's literally a playground full of children, children and then all dying in a like di dying in a nuclear inferno yeah. you yeah. know in a in a pressure blast basically yeah because it shows you the burn it shows you you don't you don't always yeah just turn gas, and it, it like... stays on it long enough to be like her holding onto this fence and just and being skeleton. blown away into a skeleton. Yeah, if you're in a far enough from the blast radius, you're suffering from the blow, right? Like, yeah. Okay. I've seen, I've seen Fallout. I, I, yeah. I was gonna say, I have, I have like a question about that. What's the most like visual, like most memorable nuclear explosion you've seen? Well, I've not media. seen the one that. Um, oh, Grave of the Fireflies. N oh no, no there's I'm not, not even thinking of that. What I'm thinking of one. is, uh, uh, what the. Uh, Oppenheimer. I haven't seen oh, one from Oppenheimer. That That's good. supposed to that be a really good one. That one's sick. Um, yeah. There is trivia on this that apparently people that 
did nuclear testing, thought that this movie did an exceptional job with its portrayal of it, mm. and thought that it was one of the best ones, at least up until that point, that had ever been done. Right. I'm going to say Nuketown. The outro to Nuketown. <laughs> In, no. any, in any and Call of Duty, Duty lobby yeah. that you're in or coming into, <laughs> yeah. it's Nuketown getting nuked at the end whenever you, you see all see the credits. you see the light and all fading. And no, 100%. Like, it, yeah. it starts to shake, too. And right. Then, and then, yeah. yeah. That's it for me. Yeah. Price. 100%. Uh, mine's actually from uh, Black Mirror. I don't know if anybody's watched the newest season. No. Uh, Nobody has? Probably. Oh, dang. I don't know. I'm behind like, a couple seasons on Black Mirror. Yeah, but it, it's... I'm well, just dang, watching I, it it's, develop. It's hard to say, but anyway, a nuclear explosion happens yeah. at the end of one of the episodes, and it's just... It, for some reason, that one really got me, because like, it happens way far in the distance, and people have enough time to like go to the windows and look and like see what's coming and for to some live reason before. Yeah, yeah. It was just it was just really effective to see like oh like you see that like you have ten more seconds to live or something. Yeah. There it's was one. so mm-hmm. this is just a random nuclear history fact more than anything, but there's a I know there's a known fact that there was a survivor who um had in a well? No. So no. there was a person that from lived, uh, Hiroshima. From Hiroshima. I saw, I saw that recently. You probably saw it on Reddit, right? Yeah. It was like, like a photo of some girl coming out of like a ruined basement and yeah. she's smiling. Yeah. Which is like Crazy. I mean, I guess I honestly I guess <laughs> I it, made it. <laughs> it's like, well, what do you know? Guess I'm not <laughs> grounded anymore. <laughs> she just thought it was a big ass storm probably yeah. in the moment, you mm-hmm. know, like just a well, really I mean, bad yeah, that's storm. The thing is like they were the first people to have seen that. Mm-hmm. Come down Ever. as a weapon firsthand. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. There's no you don't know understanding what, that, if, bro, this what the is world before just internet, before this is before the T2 came in. Yeah, 1940s. Yeah. You're kind of just like the fuck, <laughs> 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 like, you know. Like, anyways, um, do we got more to gush about? Not really. More to I think, about? Um, well, we haven't really talked much about the whole end. Which the end. Um, it's been a while since I fo- watched the first one. They uh, they they were fight. like it was. Yeah, it's another very long fight. Right, yeah, they factory. also, in the first one, they crush him in, like, a factory machine yeah. in, like, a hydraulic oh press. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the Can you answer. imagine Arnie just being yeah. like, wait, no, <laughs> please. Uh, um, Slow as could be. Well, the first one was literally, like, you know how, like, Wile E. Coyote just keeps getting hurt and yeah. killed in, like, <laughs> random ways? That's literally how Arnold Schwarzenegger was in the first one. Yeah. And it looks, it's like, isn't it stop motion animated? Like, it kind of looks it. I like, the Terminator that, looks yeah. kind of stop motion in that That video one. you sent me. Yeah, look real weird. Uh-huh. It 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 feels weird. It's like yeah. it's a weird in a unnerving sense, particularly the part where because if I remember right, Sarah is crawling through the hydraulic press with him behind her, yeah. uh-huh. trying to lead it. And she's like her. getting like grabbed at, and then the, yeah. the, the, yeah, the hand is very close to her weird. face, and she says, "Watch this, motherfucker!" And then she hits the button, yeah. and then it just crushes him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one you've got the T one thousand getting frozen doesn't stop him mm-hmm. because they're somewhere warm real yeah. warm it's like an iron let's go furnace yeah they're um, like an aluminum factory or right something. yeah like, and they uh yeah so i mean it's it's just a whole lot of back and forth here at one point the t-1000s mimicking his mom trying to trick her which is a really cool thing i wish he would have done that he was doing it well on so you know yeah. talking about cool things i like that the combat that he is doing with arnold in this place is way cooler way than nicer. anything else he does at any other point he went flat right. against the wall then he and literally then, yeah, just I mean, like the fact that he's yeah. just like oh, that's my favorite bit facing yes. and then well my one of my favorites is like Arnold punches him in the face, and, he just and his absorbs. face just like surrounds him, and then his head Turns becomes into his the, arm, and those yes, become his yeah. hands. And then he grabs his arm because that used to be his head. Yeah. yeah. But, like, that's the kind of stuff that's just like, that is really mm-hmm. a clever way of thinking about this type of robot. How do yeah. You, yeah, how, how do you continue to show, even against something like Arnold, who has continued to be proving like a force of nature, yeah. that you're just wildly inferior. That you're way better. Yeah. yeah, and it's literally like, anything you can do, I can just bloop through it. Like, yeah. Yeah, Boop. yeah. Um, and it's, um, you know, in talking about all this too, though, they uh, they definitely set it up for a sequel, because I don't know if you if anybody really thought about this. His arm's left there again. Yeah. It's like, it's still there. <laughs> how many times are we going to do like, this? How many times yeah. are you going to forget an arm? You, yeah. you, oh, the one you, in the gear You put yeah. it gear into shift, the metal to melt him down. Uh-huh. Did you not notice he was missing an arm? He was missing that Did arm. Did he not think, oh, hey, I need to be melted down? Yeah. Well, I'm over there still, too. Hey, yeah. can, before I go, 
can you grab that you grab of that? me? Because that would be great. No, well, which I don't. Are, I don't remember if that comes up in the later ones. You know. all missed him doing the the iconic. He gets like his gun. And he goes, "Hasta la vista, oh, baby." baby. I was like, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. You don't think that's gonna hit whenever you like. It's oh, one of those man. pop culture beyond the time things. But when you're in it, it just like fucking hits. No, if you're talking about iconic, yeah, I even knew about Hasta yeah. la vista. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I'll be Come back. On. Yeah, I'll be yeah. back. It's yeah. like this scene mm-hmm. makes men rock hard for reasons you wouldn't be. Not the intro. No, no, but, but, la vista, baby. No, the, I do. Oh my what, god! What about the the thumbs, the thumbs up? up as well? Like no. that that to me is another. You didn't know, get the fuck that one's. Crazy I didn't know that one. Yeah. Or Skynet, just as a whole. As a whole, like, yeah. I've heard, I've heard of Skynet because whenever anybody talks about AI, they're mm-hmm. like, "That's our oh, first thing. Yeah. It's gonna turn into Skynet." Rightfully so. I thought a better ending, and I thought a more just ending would have been whenever Sarah Connor's just like shooting him, you know, like with the shotgun. It was a shotgun, yeah, and like he kept like blowing back a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then, of course, she ran out of bullets, right? She's just From that shoot. moment, I thought she was about to go and tackle yeah, him tackle into him. Yeah. the thing. Yeah, and that I mean, would have been a good, like, you know what? I've passed it on to my son. I've taken care of this uh-huh. one. The thing God is, speed, you know? they did not want Sarah to die. No. Because no. they definitely wanted her to be in later things. Yeah. yeah. She has been she in, like, in. so many yeah. other... Up or, until, like, I think there's even or daughters, a show that she was in. Or, yeah. like, nieces of that have the same name. Like, it's mm-hmm. crazy. The but they want that actress and that character. She actually has a twin. Like, the Ooh, scene really? where, like, hmm. the T-1000's copying her, that's oh. her twin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. Good yeah. for them. Good for her. They're both twins. Yeah, <laughs> she had to get equally as shredded. <laughs> Can you imagine your twin's an actor? You're like a pharmacist. Yeah, you're yeah, not. You've like, never been in front of the get, camera. You get called by James Cameron and said, "We need you shredded." Yeah, <laughs> like like point zero one percent yeah. body yeah. fat. We're, we're you a regimen. You yeah. need to yeah. own this. You're for teaching the next six second weeks. grade. James Cameron gives you a call. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna say about this movie is my biggest negative to it, and it is the audio mixing on this movie. Holy crap, the amount of times I had to turn it up mm-hmm. so I could hear just a little bit of dialogue. And oh, then the yeah, moment a gunshot time. happens, the, the, the freaking sound <laughs> system went nuts. And Kelly's beside me. She's like, can you turn that down? I was like, I didn't know there was going to be a gunshot. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And I hate it when movies do that. Yeah. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. That'll knock down a movie three points I, in I, a second for me. It's a seven. I, 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 what <laughs> yeah, I always a, wonder to what degree a lot of that stuff is due to... Um, you know, somebody mixing for a theatrical le- yeah. release and not doing a home home theater release mix. audio mix. And we have to remember, in 91, those just didn't exist. I mean, like, not that they didn't exist, but they were oh, like... Oh, no, the- no, that was... They were around. They were around. Sure. As, not I, as, I, as I tell you a million times, I take my experience what it is. Yeah. Whatever I see before me. And in this instance, it blew out my eardrums. <laughs> it's almost what happened. That's why I couldn't enjoy Oppenheimer as much as I wanted to. Because the atomic bomb sequence, it literally broke my subwoofer. Wow. <laughs> I mean it. I had wow. to take it to the shop because it went... If you all have seen the movie, it's super quiet. And then... And freaking blows up, and I will never forgive Christopher Nolan for that. Yeah. I mean, you well, saw that's why he hates it. That. He, 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 he probably the was happy about that. Yeah. He probably was. He, he said, "Good, I'm like, You should have seen this in the <laughs> IMAX, yeah. you fool. Yep. God, so I couldn't. So I'd have tinnitus <laughs> ten years younger yeah. than I would. It's worth it. The, I, the IMAX one was great. Great performance on that. But anyways, uh, before we get into shape up, last thing I want to point out because it just didn't come up. Um, the T-1000 impaling people never stopped being cool to me. That was the, crazy. The first time with the dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was bad ass. That is, yeah. and it's, it goes right through the carton and it's just through his skull and you're just like. Which, which that is a point we didn't talk about. Like, Mason kind of brought it up when talking about how the robots can impersonate. Yeah. And Arnold's like, I, ca- I bet I know what's happening. Uh, he's yeah, like, it yeah, takes I got it. He's like, oh, how's Fluffy doing? And now the fact that Arnold also does it, you're just like, wait a fucking minute. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then he's like, oh, like he is like impersonating. Like, how did he already oh. kill the parents? And then you see the dad just impaled. Like, yeah. yeah. Speaking Whoa. of your parents is de- are dead is also another iconic chunk of that. That one's memed out. Like that one is yeah. straight up. On yeah, that. it's um, <laughs> yeah the the and he does reference it multiple times too. The whole idea of like he knows all the same things that I know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I know what he would do because we're both, both. thinking off of the same data set. Here. Right. Yeah. Like, we're we working both off the same know cloud. what each other are going to do. Yeah. So there's not really a whole lot of extra avenues for this because this is just the most tactically efficient plan. Yeah. And it, it probably played out pretty well and evenly because the chameleon thing at the end was easily the coolest part for me. But yeah. also if he was a chameleon from the start and he was able to just do all of the stuff that he was able to do in like the iron factory or yeah. the, the aluminum wherever it was 
then he would have been extra, extra broken. They do he was that. learning as he well, went. Well, I think in later Terminators, there is, like, a female T-1000. There is, yeah. yeah that it's, is, uh, like, way, 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 way more uh, ridiculous, that, if yeah. I remember right. Like, she... McKenzie. They, they definitely McKenzie do ramp up Davis what that it. robot is capable of. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. six of these movies. Oh, there's yeah, probably there's more six. than that. Yeah. yeah they're, there's honestly, one with Bale, he yells at they're people. Not, <laughs> they're, they're not great. They're, no. like, I find Salvation them interesting, but I would watched. never, yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. Amelia Clark? Yeah, she's the, she plays Sarah? What? Who does uh, she play? Oh, she... No, she plays character, uh, Sarah Connor. Yeah, this is Sarah Connor, right? Yeah. Oh, it's in, uh, Salvation. Is Salvation. there, like, a flashback, though, probably? No, this is, like, younger, yeah, it's, like, yeah. younger, no, she's, but she's top future. billing. Oh. Huh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, she's gonna be the top of it. It's Amelia Clark at the time. All right, Fat yeah, Thin. Yeah, 2015. Yep. Uh, fat Thin, perfectly fit, shape of the movie. Let's start with Price. We'll hop back over to us. This movie's super fat. I can't <laughs> say how fat this movie is. Like, two hours 40, almost an hour, in my opinion, could be cut. The action goes on so long. Like, the 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 first scene, where, or the first action scene where they're in the semi going through whatever, the top gets taken off. Sick. It's it, like the it. ending yeah. part of it's so good, up. but but you forget, but you forget about all the beginning that it takes to get there. Like it is exhausting to get to that point. And by the time you get through, you're like okay, like finally it's over. That's the big action scene. Then there's so many more, and it just goes so long. And there's only so many times I can see them just point guns at each other and pow, 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 pow. Like, more. come on, give us, give us. If you're gonna do this, do something different. Which. John Wick knows what it's doing. It knows, like, okay, we can only shoot somebody different, so many different ways. we got to incorporate some different kind of things to make it interesting. And this movie does not do it. I can already hear the rebuttal. But they're robots. That's all, like, they're not going to think of other creative ways. But they do. At the end of the movie, there's the best fight scene, bar none, of the whole movie where they're moving their arms and heads and yeah. stuff. And the rod. Like, They've got the capabilities. Yeah. They just fill it up with, in my opinion, useless action that just just as grating to watch after a while so mm -hmm. a lot of that can be cut mason uh i do think it's quite a bit chubby uh i started watching this movie i i had two hours until i needed to like start getting ready to go somewhere mm. and i was like i'll just put this on it should be pretty darn close if not right at it i remember an hour and a half going by and i was like all right let me check and i was like i still have over an hour left <laughs> yeah so i had to stop it and watch it the next morning but i do think that like the narration parts it it's setting up a world that, in my opinion, was already set up in the first movie. And I guess you always have to do that. But normally with sequels, it is quick. It is just... Here's what like Starship was great about yeah. it. It was like, you know what? Here's the year. Here's the people that they're at. Here's the situation. Done. Mm -hmm. Whereas this movie is just... It's constant, like, reminding you, oh well, my god, the robots. Oh. To, to be fair, I feel like a little bit of that... Is, <laughs> now I'm getting it. it. it now you're getting now, it. Now, now it's on me. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it, it, I just feel like it's helpful for, you know, like, no, saying, like, watches. oh yeah, you could just drop into two. Yeah. Like, that is, it, it you can because of that. You can. So technically, I guess in a way, you do save an hour and probably 40 minutes because you don't have you to save watch an hour the other hour. Total yeah. to not have to Two hours or something. I think the first one came out in 84 and this one came out in 91. So there was... A decent I'm, chunk At time. least I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll double check that. that but right. it's been, like, it's, I'm pretty sure it was a long gap between yeah. the two. Well, yeah. she was supposed to have, like, had a child, too, and I think it plays off in the future a little bit. Right. But... Yeah, I think that some of the yeah, narration... Yeah, 84 and 91. So yeah. there was a big time gap, so they felt probably like they needed to... And this is in the 80s when people were stupid. They couldn't remember anything for mm -hmm. more than five minutes. And they were all huffing yeah. the lead in their gas. So. Yeah, all well, that bomb is going off now, and that's why all the breathing are in uh, the, the stuff in the walls. Yeah. It's it's asbestos. Asbestos. It's asbestos. Yeah. 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 It's asbestos. Uh, this movie's probably a little chubby, yeah. Like, just a little bit, though. Like, they're... Uh, is it a James Cameron movie if it's not fat, though? No, you're right. Like James Cameron <laughs> is it not? James it's, Cameron has never made compromises on his runtime. Or, yes, or a Tarantino movie yeah. if it's not. Him and Tarantino fat. both love that they're like, we don't need to make extended cuts. <laughs> we just have our movies. We just have these cuts. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, so this movie is like, it's got a runtime that that drags its ass sometimes, and you know, broken clock with price on this one. I will say some of the action, not all. Some of the action, usually it's the gunshots, does feel some samey and does not feel that it has the impact that I would like. And again, this is me a little bit being the John Wick spoilist on this one, where I've watched now four <laughs> movies of Gun Fu that I'm like, I do kind of go back to older action movies and be like, I kind of wish they did something like that. And then it's not that they weren't, they do some stuff here and there. It's not 
all blames. Not even close. But there are definitely times where it's like they're gonna be shooting him for a while with no little effect. <laughs> <laughs> like, like there's, I remember thinking there's any more than a pistol on this guy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? and I'm nah. just like, all right, now they're gonna shoot Arnold with some very little effect, <laughs> and he's gonna kneecap him. If anything, it but, him stronger walking towards him. I know, but then he's like, but then Arnold kneecaps him, and I'm just like, fuck it, that scene needed to be here. All right, that's just but fun. He, he just hijacks. What was it? An ambulance or a bank truck? The, no, the, no, the it, armor. It's, it's like the their, armor does swat truck. Swat truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he fucking drifts it and like oh, backs yeah. it in. He like it's like he does a J turn for them to jump in the back. Yeah, I and mm. I just can't help but to think that I know all this. Well, Sarah Connor is just taping all kinds of ballistic vests to yeah. the back of the. As, and I was thinking of the logistics of that too. As soon as yeah. those things hit, they're gonna shoot backwards. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. They're not gonna yeah. stay on that door. They're not just staying. Plus, it looks cool. As hell. It does. It looks cool and it thought does. through that there's no. Well, it, it it's something where it's just like, oh, that's smart. You got all these bulletproof vests. Yeah. Cover him in bulletproof vests. Yeah. Build a barricade with some more. Yeah, yeah. you're you're good. You, you use the tools available. Yeah. Right. That's... Meanwhile, T one thousand's like, I'm just gonna run into him with an airplane. I'm just gonna kill him with a <laughs> And that was the thing. Before he did that, the whole time I was like, Why doesn't Arnold Schwarzenegger just slam brake check that, and boy, that helicopter? Does it? He, yeah, and he, then he did it like ten seconds this later. This helicopter and I was like, keeps riding my Ooh. ass. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Nathan. Uh, no, that's next fit. Yeah! <laughs> Sarah Connor fit! Sarah, this one's point one percent. Chisel! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, like, I don't, I don't feel like anything overindulges. I, I find all of it to be very fun. I, Bryce, get that there, button. There is yeah. not a oh, it's been there. <laughs> it's been there. Uh, no, this movie's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there a question? You want to watch it again? Oh, uh, yeah. is, there, is there a question before we move on to scores? I don't think I have a question. Besides, like, is this one of the most handsome men that's ever been on? on which which movie? one, Robert? You know or which one. Yeah. Arnold. Arnold is no. The no other one. All right, so here's the question: Robert yeah. Patrick or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Who's more? T one thousand is it, man? T one. Are, like T one thousand has, a, has a weird like jaw. Like he's got a weird. Yeah, uh, jaw. it is he's got a very chiseled, chiseled jaw. It's like a small face. Yeah. But it's kind of like the Starship Troopers guy, where it's like it's so chiseled to a point that it's just like I don't like like looking at it. Yeah. Like, I didn't think he was nearly as point. handsome as this dude. Like I thought this no. guy was like hot take. They're both stupid hot in this movie. Yeah. Like I just, mean, they're both very hot. Well, they're both like yeah. So that's yeah. another Dudes thing about the first one. We need to, to like get a clip or just like a picture of, of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold ages better from T1 to this T2. He looks immaculate in, in this T, movie. Yeah, The T2 first one, he's one. just kind of like, oh, that's, Ar- that's, that's your impression of him? Like, Anytime you see clips of T1, good. you're just like, that's Arnold? And you're like, oh, yeah. that's a Terminator movie. Yeah. yeah. But this one, even his first shot, like you said, coming out of that bubble, yeah. whenever he first beams Shred. down, and the, and the yeah. camera knows yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. anyways. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, muscle shot and everything, and then you're reminded, oh yeah, this is a oh, body. Yeah, he goal. earned it. But, but he fucking carries it with the acting, but we'll get there. Anyways, Mason, start us up with scores. Okay. Uh, We're going to hop around a little bit on this one. Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> I, like I said, I didn't care much for the, the, the soldier stuff, and like, like I can understand that she's leading this revolt, and she yeah. has all these connections and all this stuff. That's the only thing I really could not get over. Besides that, maybe like the bullets not landing. Well, they were landing. They just didn't do anything. Yeah. But... They left little marks. They did. Sometimes yeah. they went into you. Like, I don't know. I almost didn't like his, like, whenever he would just blow, like, aluminum outward. Oh, like, They yeah. would shoot him with a shotgun, and it was just like... The right, aluminum dance. Anyway, yeah. was, I guess it was neat, but... Yeah. Um, I think this movie's a seven and a half. It's mm. I like it more because of the movement that it gave to society mm. at the time. Because, mm-hmm. like we said, I can't get over the fact that when I think of arcades, I think of <laughs> this. I do too. And I think of like the Fast and Furious yeah. car mm. that you would like get in, and like that was a whole franchise mm. for for just arcades by itself. But or what about the sn- the snowmobile bike? That was game? cool. Or you can like, go back Arctic to blasters, <laughs> yeah. and it yeah. blew the fan in your face. Yeah. You remember yeah. that? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Anyways, I don't even fucking want to go to an arcade, but I want to just have those in my house. Um, but no, I think or time crisis time where you had to that touch was the my pedal. Favorite. You had that to touch the pedal to come out of the the thing. Time anyway. crisis three. You guys, yes. You guys oh. are missing other staples like House of the Dead, which is all. Oh, that's. I never cared for those just either. because yeah. it was just blast. I'm not saying. I'm listen. I'm not saying that I cared for it. The one I cared for the ten out of ten times I'm playing the fighting games. I'm either playing Tekken or the yeah. uh, the puzzle fighter street. See, Pirates. that's you. That's yeah, you. that is me. Yeah. I'm weird. I, like for me, it was just Galaga and Burger Time. Yeah. Burger Time. Burger Time was the quarter. 
I, games. I played a lot. Of that, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, because you with arcade games, if you got good, you could just keep playing. No, that that's true. Good, and like, and you kind of like had to keep your your chi. Scores. Scores. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 this yeah. movie's a seven and a half. There you it's go. Still <laughs> solid, and I think that it's like it it earns its keep just because it is so actiony. Um, but I mean, my gosh, there was just explosions all throughout. I got Punisher vibes mm -hmm. from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whenever he was up there shooting all those cop cars, he was like, just watch this. Yeah. Like, he, he might as well have a skull on his chest because <laughs> he was, I feel like it was the same score. It I almost was. sent you yeah. a video because it was like... Were you going to go pull up the movie of Punisher? I was, and, and just do clip back clip because it was like, <laughs> I swear, it was like the same song, like the same like oh. orchestral You two stuff. are the only people that still talk about the Punisher. That's not true. It's only it's in the year of Arnold 2024. I mean, what are you talking about? Punisher people are wearing right? Punisher Punisher shirts and having Punisher yeah. stickers on their trucks. But yeah, they are. That's for a very different reason than <laughs> no, the Thomas. No. They, just, they just love yeah. Thomas James <laughs> the Punisher. Yeah. 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 I, don't know what, I don't know what else the answer could be. Yeah, it's a 7.5. Yeah, Price. Price. I figured it was coming over to me. Yep. Uh, I did not have a good time with this movie. Oh. Uh, honestly, this to me, like, it's not getting as bad of a response, but it seems like the opposite of Promare for me. Where Nathan is the one like push this movie like I want every I want every bit of it and, I, and everybody else is like I'm okay with it whereas Promare was like I want everything and everybody was like you are a moron mm -hmm. and right now I I don't get it I don't get it there's some iconic parts in this that I enjoyed but for the most part the action just droned in one eyeball out the other it just kept happening. I got tired of seeing the gunshots do nothing. I got tired of seeing them drive <laughs> That's a semi... That's how with your Blade Runner. And, and, uh, 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 and, runner. I got yeah. and I got tired of seeing them drive the semi truck over and over again. I got tired of seeing <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger turn around <laughs> with his gun and do that. Got it got annoying. <laughs> no, it just, it's thing. just nothing... It just kept presenting the same thing over and over and over. The acting was good. I did enjoy that. And the moments where I got some plot was also enjoyable, but it's so droned out by these long, long action scenes that just don't do too much, and coupled with the absolutely horrific audio mixing, did not leave a good impression on me. I see why it's iconic, I, I can see why other people would enjoy it, but for me, it definitely fell on flat ears, like deafened ears, you <laughs> would say. Uh, and I'd probably give this about a three point five oh, because, like, so it's close. like I see some of the appeal, but at the same time, I had a it's way too long. Like it is long. That'll knock a score down for that me. That is true. It's way too dang the long. The thing with me and like I, I meant to say earlier, whenever you said something about the audio mixing, like if I know that it's an action movie, I, I have mine turned up. And I'm just, I'm just going to You're sit waiting back. for it. Yeah, yeah. like, I don't you're, know. You're in the kitchen, you're watching it from your living room, and you're just like, all right. You just feel the floor shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the actual nuke that it had in the movie yeah. about to just submerge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can appreciate that mindset, but I'm somebody that, like, I don't, this word gets thrown out a, a too much, but, don't, like, it's just, I just don't, get don't. sensory overload oh, no. for that kind of thing. I wasn't going to go there. Man, yeah. anyway. I'm talking about pro man. I know, but overload. sensory overload, but pro man literally visual, has a seizure visual, warning. Visual, I can do a lot more than audio. I don't know, it's an, it's it's just a thing with me. I can handle sure. seeing uh, something like crazy happening a lot more than hearing it. Like it just feels a lot more. That's actually epilepsy a, runs in your family. That's a strong trait of autism, actually, as it turns out. Back on track <laughs> with that one. Uh, that's the word I didn't want to use. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a lounge. I'm a professional. And, As a therapist. And based on my flyover assessment, you're checking some boxes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Just is what it is. I can what about it. me? No, you're fine. Hey! Which, uh, small side note: We went Clear to bill of health. went went to Hickory, <laughs> went to Hickory and Oak with my parents. Uh -huh. They sat us on the like outside on the patio, and two ambulances came by, and I said, "We're leaving." Mm. And my, my parents and Kel were like, "We haven't even ordered yet." And I was like, "Good, yeah, <laughs> it'll be easier to leave. leave. It's fine. They won't chase us." Yep. Yeah. Sudden noises really abruptly make me upset and angry <laughs> to the point that I'm very upset. <laughs> DSM. Fine. Anyways, um. How much do I like this movie? I think that T1... Some fucking gas. This, this, <laughs> Nathan's trying <laughs> to answer it for you. Uh, this, like, come on, Dylan. This it's movie, good. <laughs> this movie hangs dong. It's super cool. Uh, it's... A little bit. And listen, a little Mason, bit's enough. Mason and I didn't even see it. They, they, they didn't no. have to, and they did. They did. I'm going to look that up and just see. I put my incognito on. No, <laughs> do, it, do, it, it, no. do it real. Do it in your actual search. Do it wrong. Thing, coward. Yeah. Robert Patrick Stick, Terminator 2. Right now. <laughs> search it. Anyways, uh, the sci 
sci-fi stuff, like the, the whole world of Terminator, just in general. I know it's like pop culture at this point, but it's just sick. Like it's freaking cool. Um, the action <laughs> at times is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, yeah. You see it peeping. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Look at it. That's <laughs> Robert's Patrick right yeah. there. <laughs> That's Robert Jr. Just yeah. like you. Mm-hmm. Good for him. Uh, that guy Hung Dong. This is Thunder Gun. This is actually just Thunder Gun, start to finish. When always Sunny talks about Thunder Gun, it's Terminator 2. Uh, he hangs yeah. Dong, he's unstoppable, he goes through, he murders things left can and right. He can smell crime. He can. Uh, all the times he impales people is really cool. There's so many th- times when they're doing stuff that I remember thinking, like, I wonder if they're going to do it with, like, early on they talk about anything that he touches he can recreate as long as it's, you know, like, a mass that's similar to his, right? Yeah. So he couldn't just turn into a kid because it's less than... Um, they explained the rules really thoroughly in a way. There yeah. were times I was like, oh, the kid touched him. I'm like, shit, is he going to touch the kid? And they're like, no, they explained that they can't. I'm like, okay. Um, anytime the blade action was going on, all the up-close fights when they're getting fisty cuff and monster-on-monster monster stuff, sick, bro. Uh, the drive scene's pretty great. Sarah Connor's, like, pretty fucking fucking crazy in this film, but, like, she's doing a great job in it. So, mm-hmm. overall, other than it being a little bit too long and then... There's chunks of sh- action, a little here and there, that just aren't as great. This very easily earns its eight. Yeah, I could probably go... I, I might go more over time on this one. This is one of those ones where if you throw it on TV again, I'm going to be like, fuck. Even the stuff that should be corny just hits. Like, Arnold really is a real actor at this. Look at that. But then you see the 240 run time. Yeah, and then I'm like, I'm going to go do something else. Uh, I'll watch 220 of it, but 20 minutes of it could probably go pretty quickly. Anyways, yeah, this movie's a solid eight. This movie's sick, bro. I don't know. This is a machismo movie. This is a man movie. If you have a bunch of guys over for no reason and you don't know sports, <laughs> I put on Terminator 2 for us oh, to man. Yeah. Well, yeah. This, this does check that box. I, it was always on TV. Yeah, it was. It was TNT, on Terminator TNT 2. TNT or, yeah. you know, one of those like crazy channels like yeah. FX or something. Uh-huh. Always. To be fair, if I got the movie rights to this, I'm running it two other three days a week. Like. That's it. That's it. The same thing about <laughs> I Am Legend. It's like, a lot it's... of commercial time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, yeah. it would have to have the three hours. It's a three slot. hour movie. Yeah. Yeah. It would be three yeah. hours. It'd, it'd, be be over three. Know, it'd be three and a half. Now. Possibly four. Well, they probably had a cut. A lot of cable did cutting yeah, they back had, then. They like, had their own cuts. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Truncated down a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 They would take out some little, you know, bits and pieces. You know, like the hanging dong. That probably goes. That probably goes. Which is a shame because that definitely reflects. Uh, yeah. yeah, um the only reason my score is an eight point five is because Arnold also didn't hang dong in this movie. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And you can't yeah, fault me for true. that. That'd I'm be consistent. Expensive dog to hang. You know what? He would have though. Look at the guy. He's been naked several that, times. That, that'd be a more expensive cut of meat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know. That's that's some Angus beef that's a little <laughs> pricey bit. But uh Nathan, you wanna go yeah, ahead and I give mean, us a modest score? This is a really good movie. He looked uh, at it. It is He looked at it. There's a whole like the whole franchise around it is such a mixed bag yeah is. which is kind of a bummer like i wish every movie in this franchise was just Banging. punch and high mm-hmm. but they're not i still watch them anyway i, <laughs> I still <laughs> will actually probably watch all the, the rest of the them next again few now. <laughs> yeah. yeah why not right um yeah i mean it's it's good like I think this this Simple. movie alone can basically <laughs> pick up a, a dying franchise and be like, hey, it's still a good idea though. I treated you good once. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's still pretty good. T two's the Halloween of is, Halloweens. I was gonna say they could absolutely remake this first one and the second one again. Like they don't have to be like, oh yeah, Sarah Connor's second distinct cousin that you know was removed and blah blah blah. They, you don't you don't think they need to have a completely CGI Arnold Schwarzenegger like yeah. they did in some of the later ones. And he's uh, still kicking. Like they, you could bring so they back. have the rights to him, him? Yes. To be the T Term- like to be the Terminator, I think for T three. Yes. Yeah. Like they their later movies where the 80s version of Arnold yeah. is completely CGI huh. in because yeah, that's man. what the Terminator looks like. That's crazy. Right. Mm. It's interesting. Yeah, that they go to a whole factor where they make them at one point. They, yeah, they've IP the a the future of Terminator movies is very weird because you learn that Skynet didn't really make a lot of new interesting robots. No. It basically was like, hey. These uh these giant bulldozers and stuff yeah. they're already connected into the internet so I'm just gonna drive them just around. Use them. Yeah. Why why make why reinvent the wheel? Yeah. The humans already made all why the wheels. Why make more yeah. more or uh, gray goo things or better? Yeah. Like let's yeah. just stick to this powerhouse. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know it's it's not quite a ten. Oh. It's, it's good. It's real good. Uh, 
It, it, like I didn't, I don't hate any of the action scenes. Uh-huh. I, I literally know everything about, like, just I. Rewatching this movie is just like immediately going like, oh, I know what's about to happen. Yeah. it's gonna be fire. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be gas, oh, bro. Shit. The, the t- like, the it's gonna be about good. to rip off. It's about to explode. The ti- <laughs> oh, the, the tire from Rubber makes a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> the one where the semi explodes yeah. and he rolls out. Yeah. And then I was just like, shit, Rubber's about to kill. And he's about Arnold. to start vibrating. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that I've seen that movie. Uh, <laughs> it's God, going well. Oh, it's so bad. So uh, I'm gonna land a, a nine. Yeah, I I could almost see nine point five, but I feel like nine's a good place to put this. It's it's a really great movie. You know, I did I didn't say that it was um, fat, but it it like I feel like you can not be fat and your long t- your runtime still probably be a little bit more than it ought to have been. Because mm-hmm. it's like I don't want to get rid of anything, but also you didn't have to make the movie quite this long, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Like so, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go oh, fetch yeah, it. Without further ado, the wheel was a, a mile away. Yeah, let's uh. We got two, two options. How many we got? Not many. We got one. Just two. two. Oh, yeah. It's literally. Think for someone else could be an option though. Uh oh, that's true. That's the only way I get another movie. No, it's not a. Oh, I'm coming out. Oh. oh no, it's green, right? No. So for we have else. to spin, and whoever it lands on has oh, to pick for yeah. the next person that we spin. Okay, so oh, okay. this person. Picks. I have a chance. So this person picks. Oops. We gotta show the camera. Well, not, well, you They're the, the most spin. exciting one. All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, oh, you're the, the one moved it. That's you moved it. You moved. You, you turned it towards me. We have camera footage. <laughs> I can literally prove you. We moved. That was the wussiest spin. Oh my god. <laughs> can you get out of the wheel? I'm not touching it. Give me a chance. Uh, we Is got we got Mason picking the movie. Yes! Oh <laughs> we kidding. said we said if it if it lands on my slice again, it's fair. No, we, we said that. It says what? pick for someone else. Yes, pick yes. For you're someone not else. someone else. So That's, you're gonna have to pick, pick for whoever for gets fun. What if it's yeah. me? Then we spin it again. Then spin then again. We set it off camera. No. no, we set it like nine weeks ago. I don't remember. That that spin. That was wasn't very good either, but I don't care. Purple. Uh, four player game. Alright, so spin again. It's gonna land on red, I'm gonna scream. Is it not gonna land on an arrow? Statistically? Four purple. player game. Yeah, I literally was taking it to the camera. <laughs> spin it with a different velocity then. Okay. Uh, this one's gonna go green. Uh, purple. For me. I'm gonna have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> not that I had one in mind for anybody, but I I'm mean, definitely... he seemed very hyped to pick yeah, something. Because he got to yeah. pick a movie. Because he gave pos- he gave Miriam Possum, possum. Yes. Yeah. And, and he gave Scream to Scream Jill. 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 But so Scream had decent. one. Scream. He's had, had one Man. movie. Or space. space yeah, yeah, space. Man. I like oh, that the spider. One. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah, yeah it's good. So anyways, make sure to tune in next week but to see what movie movies. Mason Hey, picked. Maybe it's Brokeback Mountain 2. Oh, I hope so. It's it's electric Wy- Boogaloo. Wyoming's yeah. Journey or something. Yes. I don't know, wherever they were at. Anyways, if you guys want to see whatever movie Mason picked, you got to tune in next week. By doing that, you have to hit the bell. Make sure... Can you? you got to hit the bell. you got to make sure to check the subscriber count. If it's 69, leave it alone. Mm-hmm. If it's at 68, so this is now like this is actually yeah. at this point this things is... are starting to air where you keep uh, good. going on about this. Good. If it's yeah. at 68, subscribe only one. If it's at 70, one of you only one unsubscribe. Thank you. And uh, make sure to comment below. What do you think? Were all these scenes iconic? Were they great? Did you see the dong the first time through? Uh, did this movie fire. was this pure gas or was it uh, poorly edited, poorly done? Too much audio. Too much audio. Too much audio. (laughs) Did your autism get triggered in this movie? Let us know in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next week with Mason's Big for Price. Bye. Bye, guys. Apparently, most of the sounds in this movie were complete foley. Like, they they used almost nothing that was actually Nothing real. And Hmm. they, uh, the, uh, uh, John, he had to redo all of his voiceovers because he aged and his voice cracked through the course of the film. So they had to like just have him redub himself Dang. through almost everything he did. Huh.